Today we're going to go over one of my favorite exercises, which is called free writing, also known as stream of consciousness. So in this video, we're going to go over what is the purpose of this whole thing, how do you do it, what is it, and a quick example. So let's start here. Now, by the way, there'll be two more videos, so if you're having trouble with this one or in general, I encourage you to watch the next ones as well. So here's a brain. All right, so that's a caricature of the brain. And we have two sides. We have a creative side and we have a critical side, or I'll call that the critic. You might think of it as the analytical side. It likes to analyze. And in general, which of these two sides do you think gets more practice in your life or in school? That's right, it's that side. In school and as in a lot of areas of your life, you're taught to analyze and be critical. So you may, basically what happens is you, this part says, I have an idea, and this part says, and that's not going to work because. So you may say, hey, I want to wear a blue t-shirt, and this says, oh, well, it's crumpled on the left, or it has a speck of dust, or you write, a, you have a great idea for a story, and this side says, well, well, it'll have to be 12 pages, and I only have time to do 10 pages, or, well, I don't know what to call that character, so that's not going to work. Or you read somebody else's, you hear, a mu you hear music, you, something happens, something that's creative, and this side constantly criticizes. So most of us have a huge imbalance where this side, almost like in weightlifting, this side is really strong, and this side is really weak, or we can't really control it. Basically, this is the bully, and it controls our creative side. So the purpose of this whole exercise is to strengthen this creative side and more accurately make it so that you can turn either of these sides on or off at will. So that this side's not always dominating the conversation. So that's why we're first gonna just work on this left side. So that's the purpose of this exercise, which is to let this creative side just flow without the constant critical feedback. All right, so how do we do this? What is free writing? So the shortest way I can explain it is to say it's just writing nonstop and not passing any judgment on what you write. So typically, for, for beginner purposes, we'll think of this as writing for a few minutes, let's say five to 10 minutes, nonstop. And again, you are when I say nonstop, this is what I mean. So let me give you an example. So there, you can do this with a prompt or without a prompt. So a prompt might say the sun is a hot place. So that will start you off and you're literally, the reason it's called a stream of consciousness is that your brain is like a stream and you're just going to let your consciousness flow. So whatever comes to your head, you're going to start writing on a piece of paper without stopping. So if you find that your thoughts are jumping around a lot, that's fine. Do not stop writing. So the sun is a hot place and I love it because heat is awesome and awesome things tend to make me think of more awesome things. And speaking of which, I'm getting tired of the word awesome, which makes me think I'm hungry. This chair is kind of not very comfortable and maybe I should go eat a chicken. Okay, so that felt all over the place. That's what this exercise should feel like. You are literally going to just start writing, and if you, if whatever comes to your head, if you're, if if something switches topic for you, you go with it. So, if the second you find yourself passing judgment, like, oh no, I shouldn't do that. I should. That's that critical side at work again. So, it's this is going to be a harder exercise than you think. So you're literally going to try to do this for five to ten minutes. So you could set a clock five, ten, whatever you're feeling you can do. I would say start with five minutes. And so that's going to be your homework. So your homework will be to try free writing for five to ten minutes a few times a week. This is just a recommended number. Don't, don't worry about this two to three times per week that much. And you might find that in the beginning this is going to be really difficult. So in the next video I'm actually going to give you guys tips on how to 
work on this if you're having trouble doing it or how do you because you might start doing it and you're thinking well am I doing it right so you, you'll know in the next video if you're doing it right or not all right so that's one thing so you could start with a prompt you don't need a prompt you could literally just start from whatever comes to your head so maybe you saw uh, something with Dali in it so you just say Dali or you saw some figurine so you say uh, the, the black figurine blah 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 so whatever comes to your head you, if you start if you said I'm hungry then you, if you thought of being hungry then if you thought of something earlier in the day whatever you thought of you start there and you literally keep writing very quickly as fast as you can not like super duper fast but at a very fast pace non-stop till your time is up so see if you can do that and a lot of you might be thinking well some of you might be worried you can't do it but a lot of you might for those of you that think this is going to be a piece of cake, try, try to do this and let me know if, if you have any issues. So in the next video, we'll troubleshoot some of those issues. All right, final thing I want to do, which is analogs. So this is really nothing new. All of you guys are actually very familiar with this, but maybe not in terms of writing. So I like to, so by analogs, I mean other areas which are analogous to writing. So for example, if you are into music, there is something similar to free writing, which might be jamming. So when you jam with other musicians, you just play around whatever comes to your head. You're trying not to be too judgmental. And a lot of the times there's a lot more creativity happening because you're not so worried about playing the right notes. You're just having a good time. If you're, let's say, a soccer player, then maybe you're just doing some creative dribbling of the ball. Maybe you're dribbling the ball with some friends. Maybe you're just, you're not so worried about scoring points. You're just having a fun time. Anything goes. It's a purely creative exercise. Or maybe you're a smaller kid and you're playing a game with your friends like we used to do on a playground. And you modify the rules as you guys want. So it's very creative. You're not worried like, oh, is this, is this rule fit? Like, is this rule going to work? You just say, hey, let's, there's a new rule, the tree's base or something. All right. Or maybe you're an older person you're going to some sort of fair and there's a lot of presentations and you're in this really creative mode. So basically any time you're not thinking about editing and analyzing and, and being critical, you are doing free writing, but it may be in a different discipline, in a different arena. So I encourage you guys, think of some other examples other than music or soccer. So for you it might be, I don't know, it might, it might be math, it might be video games, it might be basketball, it might be whatever. So see what you can come up with other examples such as these that are very similar in spirit to free writing and finally give it give this a go and if you guys do this correctly you might find that you come up with some really funny stuff so if that does happen and you're comfortable sharing it i encourage you guys to share it so we can all get a good laugh all right i'll see you guys in the next video